Yeah, how's it going, folks? Bianca is just <laughs> plating the root of the sweet potato here. Um, make it look pretty. Make it look pretty. We thought we'd give uh, you folks a bit of a gander on what this looks like in the middle. Um, Dave suggested, and a few other people have commented on <laughs> the video, sorry right, Dave, um, that maybe this was a couple of sweet potatoes that have grown together. I've actually had this happen previously, and at the time I thought this basically looked like stretch marks to me. Um, at the time I thought it may have been something to do with nematodes, and someone else pointed out that maybe too much nitrogen at the time, I've never really found a definitive answer as to what it can be. We well, have had those ones in the past that are split like that. Yeah, split, yeah. But then it was usually, goes a bit rotten afterwards. Yeah, just left in too long basically. And these guys had been only put in the, um, the pouch of about 13 weeks. I think I said around about 13 weeks. Um, just giving a bit of a haircut like I deserve. Oh, look at these um, little whiskers down Take the them off, hold them out. Um, yeah, so it definitely didn't grow as long as it should have, but it was also an advanced seedling um, before it went into the pouch. So, anyway, without too much more nattering on, I thought I would um, just go straight for the centre. We're actually going to dice some of this up and use it in a um, bit of a warm salad -y stir fry we make. But yeah, I'm just a little bit concerned it might be a little bit rotten in the middle. Doesn't sound like it. No, it doesn't. So. Wow, Ooh. awesome. That is really cool. So we, looks like we're gonna have quite a few meals of sweet potato, babe. That does look. Yeah, there are little lines. Little, whether that's how it formed and then just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. I was actually a little bit concerned that there may be an ant's nest in there because when I pulled it out of the pouch originally, I didn't show it on the video, but there were a lot of ants um, crawling around some of the crevices. So yeah, I'm very happy to see there's none crawling around the inside of the spud. Well, that's, that's really interesting. And you can see it's already oxidizing. It's already starting mm. to go brown. So what we might do is, um, I might chop this section in half. You reckon just half of that for tonight? Or maybe even less. Half of that? Yeah. Half of that. There we go. Give us another look at another angle as well. There's a little bit of dirt on the bottom there, but even that side there looks okay. Um, yeah, so pretty impressed about that. So uh, what we will be doing with this though is um, we'll probably use that half after I peel it and chop a bit off. We might we might pinch a little bit more. I don't, um, know, if it'll fit in that one. don't know if it'll fit. It'll fit. It'll just fit. Just going to put this in a container and put it face down, and we'll chop off any manky bits and um, pop this one in there too. I'll I'll just trim the manky bits on these ones, babe. So that can just go in the fridge. But yeah, um, yeah. with this, what we're going to be doing is popping in some of the green beans I harvested with Bianca from the aquaponics yesterday. I got a really good harvest from them and I actually missed one of the plants that was um, hidden by the sweet potato. So we have a few more beans that we really do need to nip off. Just look at the amount of flowers and young beans coming on there. That's insane, isn't it? We're going to get a very good crop out of these guys, even down there. I know they're crawling in them. Cool! So back to the meal now. Uh, what we did was dice up about a quarter of that sweet potato after we peeled it, of course, and sat that aside in a bowl of water so it doesn't continue to oxidize. And then chopped up some green beans that were taken from the aquaponics, along with some asparagus, just a small bunch of that and then tossed in some leftover mushrooms we forgot about that we had in the fridge as well. And a whole bell pepper or sweet pepper or capsicum here in Australia. So to begin with, the sweet potatoes went in for about 15, 20 minutes, just with a little bit of ghee in there. And then the mushrooms went in about 15 minutes later. Uh, 15 minutes after that in went the capsicum and onion. And then 15 minutes after that, the beans, asparagus, and we ended up putting in a little bit of Greek feta as well. And that went in for about 15 minutes. And then just at the end before serving, we shredded some sweet basil and just popped that over the top. So there you go, folks. There's a bit of a gander at how we use the first quarter of the sweet potato. And B is very keen on trying to turn um, probably that other spare quarter into chips. Uh, just to see how that goes. I'm not too sure if she's going to just do a straight oven jobby 
or um, try something else, maybe some uh, flavours on it. We'll, we'll wait and see. I'll do a post just to the community tab on YouTube on that one, just to let folks know how it went and what we tried. Um, but yeah, I thought this would uh, interest people, especially what the inside of the sweet potato looked like. So there you go. So anyway, I will pretty much will leave it there, folks. Uh, thanks again to all you folks who do come along and thumb these up and share them around every week. Really do appreciate the support. And thanks to you folks who are supporting this as well on the YouTube membership platform and also our patron page, Farm Your Own Yard. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there. Do hope you're all well and happy and your gardens are booming and I'll catch you later. Cheers, folks. What are you looking at? Nothing. Oh. Oh.